Of course you have fire extinguishers on your boat, but do you have a fire blanket as well? If not, you should. Hi, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll share why every cruiser needs a fire blanket in their galley, and perhaps another one near their engine. Now, this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Marmara Imports. Their hand-loomed, fair-trade, organic cotton Turkish towels are highly absorbent, dry quickly, fold flat, and are soft and luxurious. Perfect for life aboard. Use coupon code PODCAST10 for 10% off any order of $40 or more. MarmaraImports.com. More than a towel. Okay, let's talk about fire blankets. Do you have one within easy reach of your galley? You should. Actually, even in a house, it's a great safety item. Basically, a fire blanket smothers small fires. And unlike a fire extinguisher, it doesn't make a mess. If you've ever used a fire extinguisher, you know it puts white powder everywhere that is difficult to clean up and very corrosive. Even better a fire blanket can be reused. Now, that's not to say you don't need a fire extinguisher aboard if you have a fire blanket. Actually, you probably need several fire extinguishers, but it's one more tool and one that's much more appropriate in many circumstances. Now, let's talk quickly here. Fire blankets are best for small, contained fires where you can effectively smother them. If flames can come out the sides of the fire blanket, you're going to have to use the fire extinguisher. Now, a fire blanket is very easy to use, but like anything else, it's good to think about it before you need it. Okay, the basic concept is simple. You hold the straps at the top of the blanket with the blanket covering the back of your hands, and you just place the blanket over the fire to smother it. The flames should not come through the blanket. Let it sit for at least 20 minutes to avoid a flare-up. Now, of course, keep an eye on the area during that time. So now you're wondering how and where you're going to store it on the boat so it's readily available should you need it. If your boat is laid out at all like ours, you just don't have suitable wall space in the galley. A friend of ours actually put a small wire bin on the ceiling. It's one of those under shelf ones. And she screwed it up into the ceiling right near, but not over the stove. And you want to make sure that you can just reach up there, grab it out and put it onto the stove. You want to make sure that you can, whatever you do, you can reach the fire blanket without getting burnt. Now for us, we have a long single side sort of uh, what's typically called a galley style, but it's along one side. I have a fire blanket at each end of it so that whichever side of the fi- of the uh, stove I'm on, I can grab one without having to cross the fire area. Now, most fire blankets have an easy open case of some type with a way to hang it. You can use a couple cable ties through the wall hangers to attach it to the wire basket so it won't slide out with the motion of the boat or whatever else works for you. Just Test it to make sure you can still open the case and get the blanket out quickly in case of an emergency. Now, I figured it would be really easy to find fire blankets online. What I ended up learning was that many things called fire blankets are actually hypothermia blankets. Other listings were just for the case, so beware. In the show notes, I put a link to the fire blanket I bought from Amazon. I actually have three of them now two of them at each end of the galley and one near our engine compartment. When we had an engine fire several years ago, that was actually what finally got it out. And believe me, the um, fire extinguisher that we used at the time was horribly corrosive. And we ended up having a lot of problems because of that. They really do work. And I strongly suggest that anybody have one. Now, if you have found this to be a useful episode of the Boat Galley podcast, please leave a review Be sure that you are subscribed to it. Tell your friends. Do anything else. Help us spread the word. Thanks so much. And until next time.